And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for July 29th. Tropical depression in far remains very far inland. Uh, as of right now, remains a tropical depression. Uh, nothing else is active right about now on day 210 of the year, otherwise known as July 29th, 2021. Kicking things off with the Atlantic on day 59 of hurricane season, it's returned to being fairly quiet for the time being. In this part of the world, the uh, tropical storm to hurricane ratio remains at 5 to 1 to 0. Over on the Eastern Pacific, 99E currently has a 70% chance of formation in 5 days and an uninvested area of interest follows closely behind uh, with a 40% chance uh, traveling towards the west. On the other side of the Pacific, Infa is now a tropical depression continuing to weaken over mainland China. Uh, personally, I think it's made it pretty far inland, which is pretty impressive. Uh, still classified as a tropical system, even though as of now, it is a tropical depression. Uh, Nipatak is still barely visible at the top of your screen, right now nestling in the Sea of Japan. Uh, 95W is a 20% chance uh, heading north east. The North Indian has activity. A 10% chance of formation area of interest is currently in the Bay of Bengal, slowly making its way northwestward towards India. All quiet on the North Atlantic front. Nothing much to talk about in this part of the world apart from the uh, thunderstorm activity, which you can see on your screen right about now. Jumping over to the East Pacific, 99E is continuing its development out to sea uh, at a 70% chance of formation, might I add. Uh, an uninvested area of interest is closely following behind 99E uh, with a 40% chance of formation in five days. Both this uninvested area of interest as well as 99E are continuing to track westward. Jumping over to the West Pacific, Infa is now pretty far inland as a tropical depression and it is slowly weakening. Uh, Nipatak is a barely traceable system with a 30% chance of formation, although um, it's currently diminishing in the Sea of Japan as of right now. And 95W is continuing development out in the Philippine Sea with its 20% chance and it is heading northeast out to sea. A 10% area of interest is slowly making its way northwest onto Indian soil. Um, not, we're not sure how far it's expected to continue development, but it has a 10% chance of formation in five days. Sea surface temperatures starting this time with the West Pacific. It is cooling off slowly with temperatures of 29 degrees uh, being registered. The North Indian is still maintaining around 28-ish degree temperatures due to the monsoonal activity as well as the 10% area of interest that is currently located in the Bay of Bengal. Uh, the tropical Atlantic still remains pretty warm and pa uh, parts of the uh, Gulf of Mexico are hitting 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, the tropical East Pacific is uh, getting fairly warm. The subtropical Eastern Pacific is still slowly warming up and the Central Pacific still remains pretty cool for this time of year. Sea surface temperature anomalies starting off this time with the East Pacific, the uh, area from Baja California all the way down and past Hawaii still remains fairly cooler than average. The uh, subtropics of the Atlantic uh, remain largely above average, uh, some parts by quite a bit actually. Um, the tropical spots mostly are at or above average right about now. The West Pacific remains fairly warm, uh, warmer than average, apart from the area surrounding the Okinawa Islands, which remains fairly cooler than average, as well as the Sea of Japan is abnormally above average, and as of right now, that is where Nipatak is. 
as well as the North Indian. It is currently mostly above average, apart from the West Central Arabian Sea, which remains fairly cooler than average. On this day in 2015, uh, we, we remain with Cyclonic Storm Komen, which uh, as of now was making its way towards Bangladesh and it would soon make a landfall over there. And over in the Eastern Pacific, we had two depressions. We had 8E and 9E. Now, 8E would soon dissipate and uh, not get named and 90, however, would later on become Tropical Storm and eventually Hurricane Guillermo. Alright, so up next in the Atlantic Storm naming list, we have Fred followed by Grace. Over in the East Pacific, we have Hilda followed by Ignacio. And over in the Central Pacific, uh, how are you guys not sick of us repeating ourselves over and over again? The next name on the list is Hone. Up next in the Western Pacific side of things, on list 4 is Lupit followed by Mirane. Over in the North Indian, uh, up next is Gulab followed by Shaheen. Up next in the Australian region, Paddy is next uh, followed by Ruby. And first up in the Southwestern Indian Ocean, the name, first name on that list is Anna followed by Batsirai. And finally, over in the Fiji region, we have Cody, followed by Dovi. That's all from me for now. We'll see you for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.